Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this video, first of all, I'm going to show you something really disgusting. Look at this. This is Google Drive. All right. There is a file browser inside my browser. How pathetic is that? Now, the thing is that I used to use Google Drive when I was in college because in my college, there were no computer, no phones policy and I can't have my hard drive. I can't plug my USB in my college computers, lab computers. So, you know, students used to use Google Drive for their data, which they need. Like, for example, if they need to back up some presentations, they used to use. OK, this is the presentation which I gave when I was in first year and it was really nice. I showed people how, how cool Linux is and it was cool. I, I also added memes, but, you know, nobody liked it. So this is uh, this was my uh, collection. So, for example, there are some documents like your government issued ID cards or something like a uh, mark sheet certification, you know, all the important stuff. You don't want to lose it. So suppose if it's in your hard drive and you lost it, it's going to, you know, it's going to devastating for you. So you want to, you know, some sort of cloud storage solution for that. So this is why people use, you know, Google Drive, but it's, it's disgusting and you don't really have to use it. Let me show you what I did for it. So let me put HTTPS Bugswriter.com files and this is my solution. So this is my website by the way Bugswriter.com and when I open it like you put username password it's going to show me my files which I need okay all the stuff and I can download it I can open it I can do whatever I want to do okay so for example this file it's an empty file actually it's just something I added. So now how I did it how you can do it. So let me first open Tmux, which is, you know, terminal multiplexer. Let me open two windows here. Let me SSH into my server. SSH, this is a VPS. Okay. It, all right. So let me show you this thing. So this is running FreeBSD. It's a VPS and I used to use this VPS for a lot of stuff. It's just like amazing. For example, I don't use uh, Google Meet for just connecting my audio with my friends. Okay. What I used to use is I use Mumble. I'm running a Mumble server here in this VPS and I love Mumble. All my friends use Mumble. They join me every time uh, we have to talk. So we talk every night to be honest when we work together and you know, it's, it's something which I love. So let me close this. So I run, uh, you know, Mumble server and a lot of stuff and I don't use Google services. I run my own email server. I don't use Facebook. I run, you know, my own website in the server to for my social identity now uh, about the file manager let me uh, not file manager which is like cloud backup let me you know come to a point so user local www this is one directory files directory okay and in this directory i i back up all my data okay all my you know important stuff like my mark sheets and all my government issued you know uh, cards by cards i mean identification proof whatever so now uh, let me show you how I do this. So this is in this directory. I just, you know, move anything by using rsync or there are some other tools like SCP, which is SSH copy. I use rsync because rsync provide a lot of functionality. So for example, if I have some file like uh, echo test file, all right. So test.txt. So I have this file text.txt here and I just want to move it here. So I type rsync hyphen p for progress and then test.txt and then root at buxwriter.com and now you might be wondering do i type all of this obviously no i have like some sort of you know script for this and here if i if i do ls as you can see there is this text.txt it's the same file test.txt i mean not text.txt so now one more thing is there is this directory public pub public short for public and in this directory what i am going to do is i'm going to put all my files whatever i want to back it up in this directory every time i move something there is a sync command which is going to sync it okay there is a cron job which i will run which is going to run a rsync command which is just going to sync whatever i have in this directory uh, from this directory okay uh, you know, this is going to be much easier. I don't really have to worry about all I have to do is, you know, just put some files here and it's also going to delete. So if I delete something from this directory, it's just going to get deleted. Like it's just going to get synced. Okay. Now some people are like, yeah, but uh, for normies, Google drive is good. Okay. Okay. It might be, I'm not going to talk about normies in this video. I'm going to talk about you. Uh, maybe like I'm assuming you're not normie, like you understand tech. Now, the thing is that here you are getting a file browser, you're getting ease. Now, here's the thing. Okay. 
if you open Thunar, which is one of the most basic file manager, you can type SSH and then root at what's right there, your VPS basically. Okay, press enter. And here you are in your VPS. All right. And I can go in www. I can go in my files and you can just copy paste any file. You can open tabs. All right. And you can just copy paste any file. You can go in your uh, box directory and, you know, for example, this file, you know, not this file. Okay, this file, just copy it and here paste it. Okay. You don't need a, you know, file browser inside your browser. You can use your own personal browser for it. Any file browser which you install in your Linux, I think comes with this functionality. Now, let me close this window, close window. So this is one thing, I move it. And as you can see, now the question is how I am, you know, showing all of this, like if I type box writer slash files, all right. So how this is happening? Okay, just going to ask one time for password, then it's going to set up a cookie. So not for all the time, like when you close browser, open it again, the cookie is going to get deleted. So here, as you can see, we are getting our wallpaper and everything. So how, how this is happening, like how you can see all of this? Well, it's not very hard. So if you are hosting your own personal website, well, you might use Nginx. If you are using Apache, you have to figure out yourself, but I'm using Nginx. And now in my Nginx config, all I had to do is this, this thing. Okay. So this location directive, uh, slash files. So this is basically routing. You can do routing with Nginx. And then there is an alias, which is basically saying that if, if somebody types slash files, then you have to look files here. Okay. And then auto index on, this is the most important thing, which is just going to allow you to index files like this. Okay. And after that, you can also have authentication, which is built in, in Nginx with via HT password. And after that, you can do some theming, which is not important. You can add some before body and after body. This is something you have to look. So all of this is just by using Nginx. That's the thing. All right. And you can use your file browser for backing up stuff. You, you don't, you are using your VPS. It's much better. Google drive is shared. This is the thing. This is my solution and thanks for watching. That's it.